What is up everyone this is Mrinav once again and in this video I will show you how I install BoostX after getting a graphic card error. Ok so let's get started. Install the latest version of BoostX from BoostX.com. And here we go, the error says Bluestack doesn't recognize my graphic card and it's needed to be updated. Let's see if updating the graphic card works. Click on device manager and select the display adapter. Right click the option and under the drivers, click on update drivers. And as you can see, the Bluestack was wrong, the card is already updated. And it might be the case with most of you as well. I have installed the BlueStacks on the same system before so I know that it can be sorted out and there are some problems in my graphic card. So here's the solution. Download Revo Uninstaller and completely uninstall the previous version of BlueStack if you have any. Then restart the system and finally download the best graphic card for your system. Ok so let's get started, download and install Revo Uninstaller by going to revouninstaller.com Click on download and install the setup on your system Now uninstall the BlueStacks by clicking on it and select uninstall option Unlike the control panel, Revo will completely uninstall the BlueStacks making sure that there is no temporary files left over. It's very important to make sure that before installing a new version of BlueStacks, there should be no file left over of the previous version. So I will delete all the leftover registry items and also delete the leftover files and folder. Now restart your system and install the graphic card drivers. I searched the web with my laptop model and found out that my previous graphic card was not the best for my system. So I downloaded the most compatible graphic card. Click on install. One more important thing is finding the correct graphic card requires some technical skills along with some patience. So if you face any problem, you can check the link below in the description and report the issue. Install the graphic card. Click on next. I accept. Ok now once the graphic card has been installed, let's see if the BlueStacks will work properly or not. As you can see there has been no problem yet. Ok now once the BlueStack has been installed, let's check with some apps. In this example, I will try to install Fruit Ninja as this app utilizes the heavy CPU usage. And here you can see the app is running just fine. So now we have successfully installed BlueStacks. This video gives you a basic idea and it's not necessary that it will work 100% for everyone out there. 
but don't worry you can still install and run bluestacks if you don't have a graphic card by installing the older version of bluestacks click here to watch this video for more details